Hello and welcome to yet another advanced tip. Daniel asks, does anyone have a tutorial for basic shading? I'm especially having a hard time with how to place the terminator in relation to the light source and how to curve the terminator line. So for anyone that doesn't know what a terminator is, it is the edge between the light and the dark side on a sphere. Let's look at a scene that from top down view looks something like this. We have three spheres and a light source that is right here. So the light is essentially coming in this direction towards the objects. In the top down view it can be easy enough to understand that the terminator is going to be just a perpendicular line to the light source and making the other part dark. And so we're gonna look at this now from the perspective of a camera right over here. So we're still gonna have our three spheres and so here is our light source and the yellow lines are basically going straight in to the side and then the next one is going all the way here. From the side view this is going to slice it right in half from this side and if you look at other cross sections of same light value they're also all gonna be like this. This will make this side the darkest and then the others will be progressively lighter. Directly from the front, you can also understand that this will be turned into circles. And then the middle one will be somewhere in between. And in fact, we can calculate where that's going to be by referring to our top view. And we're just gonna kinda overlay this just to do the measurements. And we can see that the terminator would then go somewhere like this, meaning the terminator at this point would be going an ellipse like this. And then if you wanna see where the the, the, the circle that touches this edge is going to be right over where this one crosses. So perpendicular, kind of like this. So this is the one that would cover like this. Now I should point out that these are all in orthographic projection, uh, not perspective. Uh, that's why it's everything kind of just stays. All of the ellipses retain shape, which wouldn't be the case in, well, it wouldn't be perfectly the case in perspective. So here are terminators. In this, in the far left case, the terminator is a line going down. In the front view, it's actually the very outer circle. And then in this case, this part of the ellipse. This is just an introduction into the topic when you're trying to figure out where exactly the light source is coming from in a little bit more complicated scenes. The geometry also becomes more complicated but essentially the correct solution will be always somewhere in between this complete side view and complete front view that we were doing. So essentially it all boils down to the same construction as well. But yeah, it is a little bit more complicated so it will have to wait for another video. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.